Hi everybody. We are going to work on a projection design eVision WXGA 7000. Uh, this is how to change a color wheel in one of these. This particular projector was here for something else. Uh, it was for a, a cold mirror repair. But I figured while it was here it was a good, uh, good chance to show you how to change a color wheel if you need to. These do have easily replaceable color wheels. Now the first thing you want to do before you start taking any screws out, turn off the power switch, unplug your power cord, just to be on the safe side. Next step is to open the lamp cover. In this case I already started loosening a few of the screws. This cover is a little strange in that these aren't quite captive and they're not quite threaded so I find it's easier just to remove them and then put them in a little little tray. Then I'm going to open the door and you can see the lamps. These don't need to come out, but I'm just going to show you. You have lamp one and lamp two here. Let's see, they just pop right out. So where we want to get to is the color wheel, which is in front of this lamp. Alright, so to get to the color wheel, we need to get into this area. There we go. Now you can really see in there. Hopefully I can hold this straight. And take the color wheel out. There's four screws marked with an arrow. And I believe this is the same color wheel as an MP. 4100 or MP4000. I kind of forget, but I know the uh, cold mirror and most of the guts are based off an NEC projector inside here. I know the lamps definitely are. All right, so once those are loose, we should be able to essentially just lift up on the whole assembly. It should just slide straight up like that. Here we are. It's a uh, four-segment color wheel. That's the interface with the projector. Those do look like captive screws. Yeah, there's the uh, connector that the flat flex plugs into that you normally see on a color wheel. Then it ends up with this uh, connector. So we get our new color wheel and that will be dropped in in place of the old one but before we do that let's look inside make sure the optics look good now in most cases you would need to clean this out but this was already clean so we're going to leave it alone there's the uh, light tunnel slash integrator and uh, the rest of the optics so we will take our new color wheel here and put it back in the same way it came out just push it down you'll feel it drop into place and start putting your screws back in. Now one thing I will say is don't put them all the way in at once. Just kind of start them and then run them about halfway in until you get them all going. Once they're all started and part way in then you can go around and tighten them all down. They don't need to be super tight. Just bring them till they stop and then just you know teeny bit more and that'll do it. Then 
close our lamp door and we just need to put the lamp screws back in or the lamp door screws rather and that's it thank you for watching